Welcome to Get Your Play Online's Bedtime Stories. I'm Lindy, and tonight we are going to be reading a book called She's Got This. This is what the cover looks like. And this is actually by an Olympic gymnast named Lori Hernandez. So let's check out and see a little bit about how they describe the book in the inside flap. And it says, Olympian Lori Hernandez tells the story of Zoe, a little girl who dreams of flying. When Zoe sees a gymnast competing on TV, she realizes that gymnastics is just like flying. She goes to class and learns to tumble and roll and leap. But when she falls off the balance beam, she discovers that following her dreams is harder than she thought. Is Zoe brave enough to fly knowing she might fall? In this heartwarming and inspirational story, Lori shares the most important lesson she's learned on her way to be Olympic glory. What matters isn't how often you fall, but how often you get up. So it sounds like we're going to be seeing Lori, or, um, Lori's character, Zoe, have some struggles. Maybe she has to try again on a few times. So I'm excited to see the story. Sometimes we see... Um, they talk about what the story's about on the back of the book, but today we get to see pictures of the author, Lori, as a child when she was doing gymnastics, so that's pretty cool. All right, so let's get started with reading our book. All right, so there we have a title page again. She's got this, Lori Hernandez, and the pictures are by Nina Mata. Sometimes we call that the illustrator. Let's see. Every day before school, Zoe watches the birds perched in the tree outside her bedroom window. She loved the way they hopped and balanced on the branches. She loved the way they flew. Looks like she's really enjoying watching those birds outside her window. Get up closer so you can see. Let's look at all of the things in her room. She's doing some drawing. Looks like she's drawing some rainbows. And she's drawn before a picture of a dog that she looks proud of because she's got it on her wall. And there's some more birds, so she really likes birds, huh? As she ate her morning cereal, something on TV caught Zoe's eye. A gymnast was dancing along the beam flipping and spinning and landing with her arms out, flying for real. Wow, so it looks like we can see look, uh, Zoe's whole family at breakfast. And look at, can you see Zoe's face? What do you think she's feeling when she's watching it? Looks like she's feeling very excited and kind of in awe, which means, wow, how can she do that? It looks like the dog wants a little bit of their breakfast too, huh? I wonder if she's going to get to go to gymnastics. Do you think that's what will happen next? Zoe wanted to do that too. Her dad took her shopping for a leotard. Her mom drove her to her first gymnastics class. Oh, so she saw the gymnast on TV and now she's going to get to do it. There she is in the store shopping with her dad. So a leotard is what the gymnasts wear when they go to gymnastics, kind of like a bathing suit when you go swimming. And there she is going into gymnastics. And can you tell how she's feeling when she's going in? Looks like she's so excited to go try gymnastics for the first time, just like she saw the person on TV and to fly like the birds that she saw before. Zoe loved stretching, tumbling, and swinging on the bars, but her favorite thing of all was the balance beam. Zoe learned to turn and jump, light as a bird on a branch. Other class kids in the class wobbled, but not Zoe. So there she is, stretching with all of her new friends in her class. And there she is on the balance beam. So the balance beam is something, it's only four inches wide, so it's about that big across. 
and it's up pretty tall, so they have to balance on it. That's what she thought her favorite was when she went to gymnastics class for the first time. You can see she looks so happy to be up there, and her coach looks proud of her. And then these kids are kind of falling down off. They're having some trouble with what they're doing. Sounds like Zoe was a natural, which means it was easy for her. Soon Zoe was ready to fly, just like the gymnast on TV. She stood on the end of the beam and gripped it with her toes. She lifted her arms, then she leaped. For a moment, Zoe flew. Wow. There she is flying in her leap. What do you think it feels like to leap like that over a beam? Sounds like to Zoe, it feels like she's flying. Have you ever done something that made you feel like you were flying? Then she hit the mat with a thump. Oh no, sounds like she fell down. And all of her friends are nervous that she got hurt, I think. You can see on their faces, they look a little bit nervous. Zoe's knee hurt, her shoulder hurt, her head hurt. Inside, her heart hurt too. Oh, So there her coach is comforting her, and her friends in her class want to make sure she's okay. Have you ever had something like that where you got hurt, but it didn't just hurt your body, but it kind of hurt? It kind of hurt like you were scared or um, a little bit embarrassed. So sometimes our hurts are not just in our body, but it kind of, we feel it in our hearts too if we're scared or something like that. That night, Zoe told her parents she didn't want to go back to gymnastics class. Because you fell, her dad asked. When you were learning to walk, you'd fall down and get right back up. But Zoe didn't remember learning to walk. She did remember hitting the mat with a thump, though. So there it looks. Her whole family is talking to her about when she fell. And they all look like they're trying to comfort her. So it sounds like she loved gymnastics, but she's worried that she might fall again. How do you think? So it said in the beginning of the book, do you remember? It said that the lesson she learns is what matters most isn't how often you fall, but how often you get back up. So how do you think she might get back up this time after she fell on the beam? What do you think is going to happen next? One time I fell running a race, her older brother said. Then I picked myself up. You can't let them fall make you quit. But Zoe's brother was big and she was little. I fall all the time in karate, her older sister told Zoe. That's part of what we do. Learn to fall without getting hurt. But falling had hurt. Zoe didn't want to fall again. So that's so nice of her family. Her brother and sister are trying to help her not to be scared. And sometimes that's can be really helpful, right? When our friends or our parents or our sisters or brothers help us when we're scared or nervous, that can help us get back up too. Let's go out, Zoe's mom said. Go out, asked her dad, why? To celebrate, said her mom. There they are, they're going out the door. And let's look at their faces. They all look like they have on. What do you think? Do they have happy faces or sad faces? They all look pretty happy to me to be going out. Celebration meant ice cream with hot fudge and sprinkles. Yum. What are we celebrating? asked Zoe's brother. Zoe's first fall, said Zoe's mom. It's good news. <gasps> hmm. I wonder why her mom thought that was good news. What do you think? Usually we don't think of falling as good news. What do you think her mom's going to say why she thought it was good? The ice cream looks really good, doesn't it? How is falling good news? 
Each fall makes you better, Zoe's mom told her. Now you have to try again. Maybe you'll fall, but maybe not. You'll never know unless you try. Wow. So that sounds like a lot like the lesson we learned that the book was going to be about. What matters isn't how often you fall, but how often you get back up. So it sounds like Zoe's mom was the one to teach her that lesson. So each time you fall, you might fall, but you might not, but you'll never know unless you try. A tiny bird soared over Zoe's head. Do you remember when we saw the bird before? At the very beginning of the book, the bird was flying and that's when Zoe thought, I want to fly too, just like she does in gymnastics class. I wonder if the bird will remind her how much she liked flying in gymnastics class. What do you think? Let's see what's going to happen. The next week, Zoe went back to gymnastics. She did somersaults and cartwheels. She turned flips and she danced along the beam. Sometimes she fell, but every time she did, she got right back up. So it sounds like she took what her mom said and got right back up even when she did fall. And what do you think she's feeling when she's at gymnastics? Can you look at her face and see? She looks so happy to be there. Look at how, I think in this one, she looks proud of herself. And she just looks like she's having so much fun. And she should be proud of herself because she, even though she was scared, she went back to gymnastics to something that she loved and she tried it again. After several weeks, Zoe's class put on a show for all the families. When it was Zoe's turn, she hopped up onto the beam. She paused and lifted her arms and her chin. Her parents smiled and her brother and sister cheered. Her coach nodded. So there she is, she's on the beam. And there's her coach and some of her friends in her class. And there's her family. There's the banner that they made her to cheer her on. Zoe breathed deeply. In a moment, she would jump into the air. She didn't know if she would fall or if she would land safely, but she knew one thing. What do you think the one thing that she knew was going to be? And there we can see all of her thoughts that she's thinking. So can you see what she's thinking? Looks like she's thinking about the leap that makes her feel like flying. And she is thinking about the time that she hurt her knee when she fell off the balance beam. And here's another time that she fell and it looks like her friends are nervous for her when she fell. And there's the time she's thinking about the bird that, that flies just like she flies when she did gymnastics. So she's thinking about all of those things and I love how she says that she breathed in deeply before she did her routine. And do you notice how she has her arm, her hand on her stomach? That is actually a really cool thing that I learned about the author of this book. Remember, it was written by an Olympic gymnast, Lori Hernandez. When she was in the Olympics, she would actually put her hand on her stomach, just like Zoe's doing and she would breathe in and out before she did her routine. So breathe in and out. And her hand, would she could feel her stomach moving in and out from her hand while she breathed, and that helped relax her before she did her routine. So I think that's so cool that she put it in this story. And Zoe used it to help her to take a deep breath and calm down. So, and the last sentence on that page was, but she knew one thing, dot, dot, dot. So what do you think the one thing that she knew was going to be? Let's find out. She was ready to fly. Oh, that's such a great ending to this book. And this looks like Zoe, but 
she looks like she's in the Olympics, just like the author, Roy Hernandez, was. Wow, that was such a great book. And here is actually a message from Lori, the author. I'm going to read that to you. As a gymnast, I've fallen more times than I can count. At first, every fall felt like a failure. I thought it meant that I wasn't good enough, that I wasn't meant to be a competitive athlete. Then I realized that falling is how you learn. What matters isn't how often you fall, but how often you get back up. Can you think of some times in the book where she fell, but she got back up? So the time that she was nervous about gymnastics class after she fell, and all of her friends and family helped her to want to go back, and she did. And then when she got there, sometimes she fell too, but she kept getting back up. So that's what's important. Even as an Olympian, she says, I still felt scared when I tried something new inside or outside of gymnastics, but I never let fear hold me back and neither should you because no matter what your dreams are, they're worth all the falls in the world because eventually you'll fly. You got this. Love, Lori. Wow, that was a, such a great letter from Lori. So I wonder if there's some times that you can think of in your life where you've fallen and gotten back up. Is there a sport that you do? Maybe you do gymnastics or dancing or soccer or karate. And maybe you've been scared to try it. Or maybe you fell down and hurt yourself but you got back up and tried it again. Or you could use this lesson of getting back up even when you fall, when it's something not in a sport that you didn't fall and hurt yourself, but maybe um, maybe in school you tried to do a new math problem and it was really hard for you, but you tried decided to try to do it again. And it sounds like Lori's friends and family helped her so much so that's a great thing that we can use too, is if we ever need help after we've something's hard or scary, we can use a teacher or our parents or brothers or sisters or our friends to help us to cheer us on or to give us advice like her family did. So I thought that was such a great book and gave us a really good lesson. And I hope you enjoyed that one. And um, I will see you next time for Bedtime Stories. Bye, guys.